Hello, Olive Sector. This is Tailspin, and uh, I want to talk a bit about taxes. So I'm in, in the documentation on taxes, and I want to point out the very first thing that was placed was everything costs money. And I guarantee you that every race struggles with money. So you need to find natives and you need to get them taxed and you need to punish them and you need to get every squeeze, every drop of mega credits you can out of uh, natives and colonists. Even the federation that double, double taxes, they do st still struggle with money. So on this page, I want to point out some things. Um, <clears throat> so Colonists and natives will not increase in number, so they won't grow, they won't make babies, there will be no extra colonists or natives if, they are, if their, their happiness is below 70. So here's my planet. And the happiness of my insectoids on this planet is 99, so they're happy. But this turn I've dropped a whole bunch of clans and I'm majorly taxing them as high as I can. So to get as much money as I can out of them. So eventually, it will drop below 70. It's negative 50 in this turn, and eventually it will drop below 70, and then they will not grow anymore. As you can see right here, this is their population. This is how much they're growing. Once they're below that, they won't grow. If they drop below 40, they start to riot. So like I'm doing here with my colonists, I, I want to get out that money as fast as I can. So I am, and I also plan to move these clans soon. So it's okay to tax them down. Um, so that again, it is okay to tax these guys down to 40 because you're going to pick them up again and move them. So get the money out of them you can, whatever money you can. So I'm taxing them 87%. I know it's only 200 mega credits, but that's still a good chunk. And, and they're going to drop to 40. If I go up to 88, I get a notice down here that says colonists are expected to riot and destroy planetary structures next turn. Um, it's not good, but sometimes you don't have to be afraid of them destroying structures. It, in this early stage, I wouldn't do it, but later on it doesn't matter as much. So if you try to take them below 30, so you can tax to, if I wanted to, I could go all the way down to, that's negative, it would be at 30 happiness, and they would ignore the tax attempts, so I would not get money for them. That's why you gotta watch when you tax. Watch these planets because if you go down that far, you won't get anything from them anyway. And um, so I could, I could go to six negative sixty nine, which would be neg or thirty one happiness. I would get my money. They would start destroying these mines, and I'd have to rebuild them. I don't want to go down that far, so I'm only gonna go to here. But there are times that you can go down to 31 without it really crippling you. Right. If they go below zero, civil war starts, and that's not fun. When civil war starts, that's when you start to lose planets. And your natives get pretty angry, too. So those are the things I wanted to highlight there. <coughs> So one of the new features they've added is these auto taxing, like I can do it manually or you can use one of these auto taxes. This is flat 70, it'll take you straight down to 70 and then it'll stay at 70 forever. Flat 40 will tax it straight down to 40 as best it as taking as much away as fast as it can and it'll stay at 40. Growth is it'll go down to 70. Doesn't say it here, but it will go down to 70 and then it will 
not tax until it reaches 100 again. And then it'll start taxing. That's called growth taxing. It gets your max amount of money while still growing your planet. And there are instances to use that. Um, I won't. Maybe like a bovinoid that you want to grow, or maybe insectoids that you want to grow. Once they reach about six million, that's that's a pretty high amount. But you can still keep keep pushing them up. Growth Plus will do the growth taxing, and <clears throat> once they reach ten million their max population it will just tax down to 40 and stay there I am using flat 40 because I want to get out as much money into these people as I can and uh, for the record the most you can get out of a planet is 5,000 even insectoids so I'm almost getting 5,000 return out of these so they are absolutely fantastic for that although I am the feds so I might be doing double what they normally do one thing I usually or quite often do is, is I look at this number plus five. So that means if I stop taxing them, they'll gain five back every turn. It's good to notice that because some planets, you know, they only, the happiness goes up one or two and that takes forever for that to recover. Or not forever, but enough time that it hurts you. But plus five is pretty good. So sometimes I go down to negative 35 which would take me well in this case I'm at 99 so but pretend I'm at 100 negative 35 would be 65 so 5 below 70 so this number below 70 um, you tax there's one turn where you don't grow or no I think no I think you still grow after that but that is another method you can use. Taxing, really, just get as much money as you can. You need money, every race needs money, and you continually need money, so just punish them. Get whatever you can out of everybody. Alright, so that's my video on taxes.